Welcome back, Amharic Learners. Here we are with another video. I just want to say that I'm working on a bunch of new Amharic teaching content that will be posted really soon. So please subscribe to keep up to date with everything. I'm really excited to share all these new videos with you all. But now, let's get into today's video. Today, we're going to be talking about the verb to be able to. In Amharic, that's machad. The infinitive form of the verb is machad, and like in the other videos, I'm going to go over the conjugations for this for the first person I, you male, you female, you plural, he, she, we, and they. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first person conjugation for machad, or to be able to, is echelalo. So if the conjugation for na or i in the first person is echelalo. So you would use this verb to express things like I am able to do something. So one example of using a chelalo in a sentence would be to say, in a makina mandat a chelalo. So that was kind of a lot, but let's just break it down. In a is I, makina is car in a mark, mandat means to drive, and then we have a chelalo, which means to be able to. So if we put all of that together, it means I can drive a car. Another example using a chilalo would be in a English, or in Amharic it would be Inglesinia, but just for simplicity I left it as English. You, you could say in a English a chilalo. So that directly translates to I can English, but what it means is I can speak English, or like I know English. And so that's how you can express being able to speak a language in Amharic. So just as a test in the comments, try and write, I can speak Amharic, or I can Amharic. So next, for the second person, male, so you can, the conjugation for ante would be ante tchelale. Ante tchelale. So quick example with ante, we can say ante mehed tchelale. Ante mehed tchelale. Mehed means to go. I have another video explaining the verb to go and going over those conjugations, so check that out if you're unfamiliar with that verb. So, anta mehed tichalala means you can go. Uh, for anchi, for so the second person female, you can, we want to say anchi tichialesh. Anchi tichialesh. So, an example we have for this is Anchi manbab tichialesh. Anchi manbab tichialesh. And manbab in Amharic means to read. So when we say Anchi manbab tichialesh, we're saying like you can read, you know how to read. For plural, so uh, second person plural, inanta, so you all, uh, so you can for a group of people, you would say inanta te chalalachu. Inanta te chalalachu. So for the conjugation for we, so if we want to say we can, you would say inya in chalalen. Inya, the pronoun for we, and then inchilalen. And just to be clear, in Amharic, Amharic is a pro-drop language. So the pronoun 
is implied by the form of the verb. So because we know in chilalen is the specific conjugation for we, then we don't actually have to say the inya part. I always list out the pronoun just to make it really clear. But as you get better with the mark, you'll realize that in, if you speak to like native speakers, you'll realize they don't actually say the pronoun all the time just because it's almost redundant, right? So if you were to use, if you wanted to say like, yeah, we can, you wouldn't say, oh, in yan chilalin. You would probably just say in chilalin. But just moving on. So she can. For aswa, we have tichalalich. Aswa tichalalich. For he can, we have asu yichalal. Asu yichalal. Asu yichalal. And then for they can, so for inasu, we have yichalalu. Yichalalu. So they can, like they are able to. And then also derived from the verb machal, uh, we have to say it's possible. So if someone asks you a question and you want to be able to say that, oh, yeah, that's a possibility or it's possible, it can happen, you can say yichalal. Yichalal. So it's similar to the third person male conjugation, yichalal. But there's that A sound instead of the I sound. So you, instead of yichilal, you say yichalal. And just going over all the conjugations one more time really quickly. We have ene ichilalu, ante tichilale, anchi tichialesh, inante tichilalachu, inya inchilalen. Isu yichilal, iswa tichilalich, and nasu yichilalu, and then also it's possible yichalal. So these were the conjugations for machal or to be able to in Amharic. Uh, in another video, I will show you how to say the negative form of this of machal, so to be able to say like, I can't do something. Uh, so yeah, just go ahead and practice all of these conjugations. I would say, try to write them down. Uh, try also in a comment below to say uh, that you can speak Amharic. If you need a refresher, go back to the section of the video where I go over the conjugations for na, and that should be helpful. Yeah, and I can't stress enough that just practicing is really, really important. So like the first step of that, just leave that comment below and then maybe on your own, go ahead and try and write these out. And yeah, like I said, I have a lot more content planned out. So be sure to subscribe. If you liked this video, hit like. I'd appreciate it a lot. And good luck with the rest of your Amharic journey. Take care. Thanks.